In all likelihood, a high-octane clash in store. It tends to go with the territory when Manchester United host Chelsea here at Old Trafford. That's what we have in store for you here on EA TV. Stay with us for live coverage every kick of the ball. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Harry Maguire plays alongside Johnny Evans in central defence. Marcus Rashford starts with Anthony out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Who can he pick out? Fernand. Oh, great defending. Thiago Silva. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, he's playing well at the moment. He's confident, he's making runs in behind. He always looks a threat when he gets on the ball. He's been good with the ball at his feet. And when crosses come into the box, he's looked dangerous as well. Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. So on they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Anthony. Sterling has it. Sterling. Could cross it in here. And deflected behind, so a corner here. And played short. In by Sterling. Can he finish here? Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes has it. And in the right position to read it. Sterling Enzo Fernandez It's still alive Flag raised for offside Here's one Bissaka. Anthony. 
Bruno Fernandes has it. United might be able to cash in. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Rashford. Here's Casemiro. Intercepting it intelligently. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Well, the counter chance looks very real. On a corner to Chelsea as they look to press home their advantage here. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it still could be dangerous. Sterling. That's a useful cross. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Anthony. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. He could pick out a teammate. Has the strength to hang on to it. Oh, but they've lost it now. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage of the situation? Great block. Free kick to Chelsea. And he whips it in. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Take it away. Sterling using his physical strength to shield it. Anthony really getting stuck in. It's going to be United's free kick. doing everything possible to keep possession and possession given away now the quick counter attack could be on well it fizzled out getting forward and space to cross it superb block on the back of the ball from the flank 
Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Fernandez. James. And so the referee blows the whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Old Trafford. Well, in a word for Raheem Sterling so far, positive. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general... So the ball is rolling again. United might be behind, but still plenty of time for them. What can they do in the second 45? Crossing possibilities. Can he do it? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Caicedo. And they kick the ball. Advantage Chelsea. James. Fine cross into the middle. And it's gone in here. Just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. The lead extended to two goals. Well, here it is again. James's cross is asking for somebody to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Oh, he looks threatening. And there's the feed into the box. Good strength to keep the ball. Shot attempted. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Can someone get on the end of this? And making sure it wasn't problematic. That's effective pressure high up the pitch. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the action underway again, and it's turning into a trouncing with Chelsea holding all the aces. And they stopped them in their tracks. Sterling. Well, he's certainly not alone. And let's give credit to the defending. Sofian Amrabat. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Reese James. An attack full of promise. James. Just the clearance that was called for.
Sterling. United have it once again. Here's Juan Bissaka. Seemed to switch off for a moment, and now a throw in. Here's a change for Manchester United. Johnny Evans coming onto the pitch, number 39, Scott McTominay. Caicedo. Chelsea struggling to keep the ball. 20 minutes to go in this one. Maguire. Diogo Dallo. And Rashford. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Gallagher. Jackson, Connor Gallagher. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Here's Juan Bissaka. Plenty of support here. But they dealt with the threat posed. Rashford on to James Palmer with it Connor Gallagher and in the right position to read it Rashford can he make it count marvellous anticipation James well we've entered the final five minutes take some progress with the ball at his feet well it came to nothing in the end can he find the right pass James Connor Gallagher. Could be a chance to break here. Anthony. Juan Bisaka. That's well blocked. Clear deflection and a corner now. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. And he's fired over the corner. Well, it still could be dangerous. McTominay. Opportunity here. And so there it is, the final whistle, and Manchester United have lost this game, much to the disappointment of their supporters. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.